Hi guys, it's Jo here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to highlight more skincare mistakes. If you enjoyed the first part of this video, I will link it for you in the description below. So let's get right into it. Here are some common skincare mistakes that you might be making. Number one, constantly picking at your skin and scrutinizing it. Picking at your skin is a big no-no. It can cause scarring, permanent damage, and even infection. When you're constantly picking at your skin, you're never really giving it a chance to heal. And this becomes a vicious cycle. Scrutinizing every pore, wrinkle, and imperfection is equally unhealthy and leads to a negative self-image. Remember that real skin has pores, it has texture, it has wrinkles, and occasional breakouts. Establish good skin habits, and if you feel the need to pick, go do your skincare routine instead. And please see an esthetician when necessary so that they can perform proper extractions on you. Number two, neglecting the neck and decollete. When most of us do our skincare routines at home, we often neglect the neck and decollete and only focus on the face. This is a big mistake. The skin on the neck is much thinner than the skin on the face and will age much faster. The décolleté is also an area that's prone to a lot of sun damage. It gets a lot of sun exposure. Therefore, you want to make sure that you're taking your products all the way down to your chest. Treat your neck and décolleté as if they're a part of your face every time you do your skincare routine. In 10 years, you'll be glad that you did. Number three, using old or expired products. A lot of us have products on our shelf that have been there for many years. We don't even remember when we bought them. Expired products will not only be less effective, but they can also harbor bacteria, mold, and other pathogens. When in doubt, it's always best to throw away your old products. This symbol will tell you how long a product is expected to remain fresh and effective after opening. It's usually between six months to a year. Number four, not giving your products enough time to work. Many of us get really excited about a new skincare routine only to be met with disappointment when we don't see immediate improvement. This kind of expectation will only set you up for failure. Imagine going to the gym once and being upset that you didn't achieve a six pack. Results take time, but if you commit to your skincare regimen, I promise that you will see a gradual improvement in your skin. This will give you enough momentum to keep going. So please trust the process and give your products at least a month to work, which is one whole skin cycle. Number five not listening to your skin. If you're following the same skincare regimen day after day, season after season, you are doing your skin a disservice. The skin is a dynamic organ that is constantly affected by changes in the environment, lifestyle, and internal factors such as hormones. Our skin is constantly changing and communicating with us. And because you're the one who's taking care of your skin every day, you must learn to pay attention and be able to adjust your skincare routine based on what it needs. So how do you wanna do that? Well, think of your skincare arsenal like a wardrobe. You wanna make sure that you're prepared for when your skin is misbehaving or when it needs a little bit of extra TLC, perhaps after a professional treatment or a day spent in the sun. Keeping a few different products on hand and rotating them will help you address your skin's different needs. Cleansers, serums, and moisturizers can be easily switched out and so can masks. Your skin will be much happier in the long run when you're able to give it what it needs. Okay guys, if you have made these skincare mistakes in the past, please let me know in the comments below. I hope that this video has helped you to better understand some of these skincare mistakes and how to avoid them. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you soon. Bye.